Okay, here we go, a lap of Monaco, the busiest circuit you'll ever drive in the whole calendar of Formula One. Out of the last corner, open up the straight as much as you can. DRS and Kerr's available on the rundown towards turn one. Bumpy under braking and in the shadows of the buildings. Watch the exit curb as well and the barrier as you run up the hill now towards turn three. Clip the left and then the right and now down through the gears. Hug in the inside there. Don't let the car understeer too much because on the right-hander, you want to open it up on the run down the hill now. Very easy to lock the inside right as it hangs in the air around turn five. Down towards the hairpin, first gear. Hug the inside corner as much as you can and then straighten up before turning right and using that curb that's available on the right-hand side there. Now, the next right-hander that comes up before the tunnel, let your eyes readjust. Hold it flat out through the tunnel now, clipping the apex and letting the car run out wide. The burst of light comes at you as you brake at the 100-meter ball, flick the car left and then right through the chicane. And now you run the car to the right-hand side as close to the barriers as you can before flicking the car left and using all of the available circuit at the swimming pool section, left and then right again, breaking a straight line. Get as close to the barrier on the right and use that curb on the exit on the left as well. Now into the infamous Rascal corner the double apex right hander very important to keep the car nice and straight on the exit there before this final corner don't use too much of the exit curb and that's a very busy lap of monaco